I got you, Joni. I muted you, so you're all set. Okay, let's come on over and roll down and start that C curve in your back and just stretch it out. And we're going to bring our knees to our chest and just take a few breaths. Roll the hips side to side, wake up the sacrum, and go in the opposite direction. And let's put our feet down, arms over our head, and take a few breaths. Feel how the shoulders are rolling down and the upper back is lengthening. And let's bring our navel to the spine. And while we're doing the arms, let's do this big pelvic tilt. So we're feeling that stretch all the way down the spine. And then we're gonna bring our arms down and knees up and lift the head and do a few of these. Let's do a few more. And last one like this. And the next time, let's lift the legs and straighten them up as we bring the arms down and head up. And let's continue 10 more of these. And then one more, and we're going to add on and bring the knees in as the legs or as the arms come down and then straight out. So squeeze the legs together. few more. And then one more time. And let's bring our arms again over our head, feet down, and let's take three breaths. Just kind of notice the tingling in your body and how it's starting to wake up. And we're going to bring our elbows down a little bit and come into goal post to arms. So we feel how the shoulders are rolling down. And one more breath. And then let's bring our hands behind our head, right knee to left elbow. And let's do a few of these stabilizing through the hips. And then let's do regular bicycles and stretch the leg out. And a few more. And then last one, and let's bring our legs straight up, head down, arms down, 
and take a breath or two. So feel how the hips press down and then point and flex the feet. And then make circles with the feet. And let's circle the feet in the opposite direction. And now we're going to open the legs out and in. Let's do a few more of these, pressing the hips down. And one more. So let's bend our legs 90 degrees, tap the toes, tap each foot down. And feel how the navel comes to the spine. And then flex the feet, tap the heels down. And last one. And then let's stretch the legs up into happy baby. And take a few breaths. Feel the opening of the spine and the hips as you rock a little side to side. And take three slow breaths. Let's bring our feet together, Baddha Konasana. Press the back down, the sacrum down, roll the shoulders down, and breathe. And let's keep the feet together as we bring them down to the mat and press the feet together in Supta Baddha Konasana and continue to breathe. And three more breaths. See if you can slide your arms up in goalpost position and then bring the elbows in and out as you press your feet together. And do a couple more. And then we're going to bring our arms down and press the legs together so the feet come back to the mat and roll the hips up in Setu Bandha. Let's walk our shoulder blades together and breathe. And we're going to slowly lower the hips down and then into our spinal twist, knees to the right, Reach the left arm out and turn the head to the left. Let's do that arm movement with the left arm reaching over our head and then out to the side. Just slowly so you feel the shoulder opening up. And a couple more times. And then we're going to bring it back out to the side and let's stretch our legs straight out there. So we're going to increase the stretch, one leg right on top of the other and flex the feet. And take another couple of breaths. And adjust the height of your legs anywhere they're comfortable for your low back. And then let's bend our legs and we're going to come back to the center, bringing our knees to our chest. Take a couple of breaths, just make sure everything's okay in there. And then let's roll the knees to the left. We're going to do the same thing. 
First, the right arm comes out to the right, and let's reach it up over our head and out to the side with the breath. And then reach it out to the side. We're going to straighten our legs. So wherever they are, just one leg on top of the other. Flex the feet and breathe. Feel that bigger twist. And then let's come back to the center. We're going to bend the knees and hug the knees toward the chest. And just do those circles again with the hips. And let's roll over to the side and come on up. And we're going to sit cross-legged. And twist to the right. And then over to the left. And let's forward fold here, hinging from the hips. And walk our arms to the right. And then over to the left. And back to the center. So we're going to sit up and do a few shoulder rolls, kind of lift the shoulders, roll them around, and then go in the opposite direction. And let's do our Santa hug. So hands on top of our shoulders and just lean forward a little bit, stretch the upper back. And we're going to release and let's come into a pretzel pose. We're not going to stay like this for long. So right leg in front, left leg behind. And when you're ready, start to lift the hip up and reach the arm up. And let's reach that arm around as we come down. And we're going to do a few more. Same side. Feel that big stretch in the shoulder. And one more time. And we're going to sit down. So we're putting that right hip down. Let's lengthen and hinge forward. And a couple more breaths. And then we're going to come on up. And let's switch our legs. So we're going to do the other side, same thing. Left leg in front, right leg behind, left hand down, reach the hip up. And here we go with those big circles. And lift and lower the hip at the same time. Big stretch. And let's do one more. And let's put the hip down. And now we're going to hinge forward, stretching the hip out. And one more breath. And let's come back to the center. So we're going to put our legs, let's lengthen our legs straight out. We're going to do our rock a baby here. So you're welcome to keep the legs crisscross applesauce, but we're going to take our right leg and bend it and just hug it in. Whether you can get your left 
you know, the crook of your arm on your right foot. I don't know, but you can just see how it goes. And just make some circles with the leg, with the hip. Just wake it up a little bit. And then we're gonna set that same leg down on the left thigh. And you could either hold the leg, whatever's comfortable. Some of you might not need to hold it, but we're gonna hinge forward and find a deeper hip stretch and a couple more deep breaths. And then we're going to put the foot, the right foot flat on the mat. So our left leg is out and let's twist to the right. And bring that thigh in as you twist to the right. Another couple of breaths. Really good. And then we're going to switch legs. So right leg down. Let's bend the left one and hold the left foot and you're welcome to bring that. See, this side is a little better. It's less damaged, I'll just put it that way. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do our rock by with this hip, this leg. Make some circles or just generally breathe and open it up. And one more breath. And let's put that leg down on the right thigh and hinge forward. You're welcome to hold the leg, whatever's comfortable. And a few more breaths. And now we're going to release and put the left foot down next to the right leg and twist to the left, hugging that leg in and breathing. And a couple more breaths. Really good. Let's release. So we're going to bring our legs straight out on the mat. And let's see how all that feels. Let's lengthen forward, reaching forward. We're going to do our row boats. And then press the legs down as you lean back. And let's do a few more of these. So we're working with the core. And let's do one more. And this time we're going to put our hands down by the hips, press the palms down and look up, squeezing the shoulder blades together. And then we're going to release that. So we're going to put our feet down and come into table stretch, lifting the hips up. Now let's lift the right leg up and then put that down and the left leg and let's do a couple more. Right leg, extend through the heel, left leg, one more time to each leg and the left leg and then bottoms down. Let's do our big V and forward fold. Release the head and let's take five breaths here. And if you can, our hands go underneath the ankles. You can hold the feet. And one more breath. So let's come back up. And we're going to stretch the legs straight out and twist to the right as we press our legs down. We're going to slide the left arm down the right leg and breathe. 
So the twist is in a slightly different place in your back. And let's go to the other side. Twisting to the left, slide that arm down and breathe. And then we're going to come back to the center. And let's sit with reaching the arms out in Dandasana. Roll the shoulders down and we're going to take five breaths lengthening the spine. Really good. Let's release the hands, the arms down. We're going to come on over, hands and knees. And then we're going to come into our a few cat cows and breathe. Let's do one more complete movement. We're going to sit back in child's pose. Let's walk our arms to the right. And then walk our arms to the left. And then to the center, let's come on up to downward dog. And here we're just going to see how the downward dog feels since we've already done a lot of opening. Let's take a couple more breaths, release the head, and we're going to lift our right leg up, and let's step our right leg forward, and right arm up, spinal twist, and come back to down dog, and let's switch left leg up, step the leg forward, and then left arm up, Spinal twist, and we're going to come back, downward dog, and then into a plank, and back to dog. Let's do a couple more of these, stretching the whole spine. And then we're going to come back to downward dog. Let's walk to the top of our mat. And we're going to hang in our forward fold. Let's hold our elbows. Bend the knees a little bit. And release the arms rolling up one vertebrae at a time. And reach the arms out and up. Hands to our heart. Let's twist the upper body to the right and then to the left and to the center. Inhale up, exhale forward fold and step our right leg back. Let's bring the knee down and reach the arms up in our crescent lunge. Three breaths. Twist to the left. Cross the arm over, hands together. Now we're going to lift the right leg up and let's extend through the heel. Right hand down, left arm up. And then let's come back, downward dog. And right leg lifts up and steps forward and the left. Let's come into that deeper forward fold again. We're going to hold our elbows and release the head. And then release the arms and roll all the way up. And then arms reach out and up. 
hands to our heart, twist the upper body to the left, and then to the right, back to the center, inhale up, forward fold, let's step our left leg back, bring the knee down and arms up, crescent lunge, and let's take three breaths. Now we're going to twist to the right, cross the arm over, hands together, and lift the left leg up, and let's extend through the heel. And left hand down, right arm up. Come back to downward dog. Left leg lifts up and let's step the leg forward and the right. This time halfway up, feel that cat-cow movement in the spine. Forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. And then hands to our heart and take a breath. Let's hold our hands behind us. So we're going to inhale and look up. And we're going to bend our knees as we come forward. So chest to thigh, release the head. Start to straighten the legs when you can. And then let's come up the same way. We're going to inhale, coming up, reaching the arms up. Hands to our heart. We're going to take our right leg out in front of us. Point the toes, put the foot down. Stand up nice and tall and lift and lower the right leg up and down five times. Really good. Let's bring our right leg back for warrior three. And then step the right leg forward and we're back in Tadasana. Take a deep breath. And then let's do the same thing with the left leg. Point the toe, bring the left leg forward. And we're going to lift and lower five times. And then when you're ready, warrior three, left leg back. And then we're going to step it forward. Sometimes it's better than other times. <laughs> Let's come into Utkatasana. And when you're ready, come deeper and then forward fold. And a couple more times going as deep as you can into the hip. And one more, Utkatasana, and forward fold, and we're gonna hold the elbows again. Release the head. And let's come all the way up, reaching the arms up. Hands to our heart, bring the right knee up, and this time let's can-can. Five, four, three, two, and one, and warrior three again. Step back, warrior one, squaring the hips. Reach the arms forward and right hand down, left arm up. And then both arms up with our palms together, looking up. 
And then let's clasp our hands behind us and come into Humble Warrior. And feel that forward fold chest to thigh. And then our back bend. Let's reach the arms up so we're in warrior one again. And we're going to step forward and take a couple of breaths into Vasana. Now let's try the left knee for our can-can. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one, and warrior three. And then warrior one, step the left leg back. And let's lengthen forward and left hand down, right arm up. And then both arms up with our palms together, looking up. And then let's clasp our hands behind us and come into Humble Warrior. Feel that forward fold, chest to thigh. And let's come up in our back bend. And now reaching the arms up back to warrior one. And let's step forward. And here we are in Tadasana. Let's take our elbows down to our thighs. Come deeper into the hips. Release the low back. And then forward fold. And let the head go. Let's step back, downward dog, and take three breaths. We're going to lift our right leg up and come into plank and back to dog, and then four more of these. And let's switch our legs, right leg down, right foot down, left leg up, and come into plank and back to dog five times. And one more. And then left foot down. Let's come into a regular plank here. Three breaths. And we're going to make it all the way down on our belly. Chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. And let's do five cobras. And one more. And let's reach our arms out in a big T. We're going to put our right ear down. Now we're going to take the left leg up behind us, come into a little bit more of a twist. And breathe. And let's switch. We're going to bring our left leg down and left ear down. So we're looking to the right. 
reach the right leg up behind us and twist. And then let's come back to the center. We're going to slide our hands underneath the thighs. And let's inhale, lifting everything up, exhaling slowly down. Let's do a few more. And one more time. And let's press ourselves back to child's pose. And take three more breaths. And we're going to sit up on our heels and take a breath in the center. Let's do a side stretch here. Right hand down, left arm over. And feel that side opening up. And let's go to the other side. Left hand down, right arm over. And we're going to come back to the center. So both hands down by the hips. We're going to lift our hips up and stretch out the quads. And one more breath. Let's sit back on our heels. We're going to come into puppy pose. So slowly reaching over, hips up. Stretch out the mid-back. Three breaths. And let's come on down to Sphinx and see how our spine is doing. So we're going to press the forearms down and lengthen the upper back here. Now let's come into a half arm plank. We're going to come into dolphin and walk forward and take three more breaths. And bending the knees, let's sit back into child's pose and really reach the fingers forward so you're extending the whole spine. And downward dog. And let's take three breaths. Now right leg lifts up. Let's come into warrior two. And we're stepping that leg forward. And breathing. And reverse, left arm down and right arm up. And let's bring our right forearm down to the right thigh, left arm over. We're going to slide the right hand down to the mat, the right fingertips. Keep the arm over the head, the left arm. And let's come back up to warrior two. And we're going to straighten our right leg. Let's do our trikonasana. 
And when you're ready, reach to the right and left arm comes up. And let's come all the way back up and reach both arms up over our head, clasping our hands, leaning to the right, and then over to the left. And let's do an easy forward fold. Just let the hands go, head releases, and take three breaths. And slowly come on up into our back bend again, reaching the arms up. And then let's take our left leg out. We're going to come into Warrior Two on this side. And reverse, right arm down, left arm up. Let's bring the left forearm down to the left thigh, right arm over, and breathe. Now let's slide the left fingertips down inside of the left foot. Keep the arm over your head for a bigger stretch. We're going to come on up to Warrior Two. And then straighten the left leg out, Trikonasana, on this side. Reaching to the left and right arm up. And one more breath. And let's come all the way up. We're going to reach both arms up again overhead. And then forward fold like downward dog arms. And lengthening the spine as you release your head. Let's walk ourselves to a right side lunge. And take another breath. And then over to a left side lunge. And take another breath. And let's come to the center. And we're going to go side to side with the legs, transverse lunges here a few times. And let's. Slide our arms through our legs, come into a deeper forward fold. And then we're going to make our way all the way up, arms up over our head. And let's bring our hands to our heart and come into Goddess. We're going to bring the elbows open and closed. So now let's lean to the right and then over to the left, back to the center and take another deep breath and inhale up and come back to down dog. And let's take three more breaths. And we're going to come into hands and knees. So we're going to do our thread the needle. Let's take our right arm out and thread it underneath the left. And twist and breathe. And last deep breath. 
And let's come back to the center and take a breath. And then left arm out, thread it underneath the right arm and twist and breathe. And one more breath. Let's come back to the center and take a breath and come back into child's pose. So if you want to do a wide leg child's pose or legs together, lengthen here and let's take a few breaths. And one more breath. We're going to come into our downward dog and lengthen. And let's walk to the top of our mat and hold our elbows again. So you could bend your knees. And then let's come all the way up and reach the arms up. And we're going to bring our hands to our heart and feel Tadasana. So we're going to come into tree pose. Let's take our right foot down, bring the left leg up. And arms up when you're ready. And then let's release and we're going to switch. So we'll bring our right leg up somewhere along the left leg. Arms up when you're ready. And a couple more deep breaths. And let's release. So we'll bring our arms down by our sides, pressing the feet down. Now let's clasp our hands behind us and inhale, looking up. And exhale, forward fold. And let's take a couple more deep breaths. We're going to release our arms here now and put our hands down on the mat for a regular forward fold. And then we're going to make our way into our squat. And let's take a few breaths. And three more breaths. So we're really stretching that back and we're going to make our way down into bringing our knees to our chest. So just like we started, we're going to roll down. And as we bring our knees to our chest, kind of make those circles again with your hips. So you could feel the difference in your back, in the hips, and then circle in the opposite direction. And let's come into our happy baby and take a few breaths here. And then feet together Baddha And just like we did before, let's bring our feet down to the mat in Baddha Konasana, Supta Baddha Konasana, pressing the feet together and feel how your arms are. If you can come into goalpost position, feel the difference in your back. Let's take a few breaths here. 
and feel that complete breath. And three slow breaths. And now we're going to slide our arms down so we could press our legs together and put our feet on the mat. And let's roll the hips up. Satu Bandha. And take three slow breaths. And when you're ready, start to roll the hips down. We're going to come into our final pose of Shavasana. If you need to do another spinal twist, feel free to, to do that otherwise. We're going to just rest on our mat for a few more moments. Feeling the tongue and the jaw relax. The shoulders and the arms relax. Feel how the chest gently rises and falls with each breath. Feel how the hips are pressing down and the spine being held by Mother Earth and the legs and the feet relax. Feel the expanse of the ribs as you breathe into the belly and then the ribs and the upper chest. Wishing ourselves good health and harmony. Peace to our homes and families and communities. and peace to our brothers and sisters everywhere. We're going to slowly start to wiggle our fingers and our toes and reach our arms up over our head and stretch. And when you're ready, roll to the side. And we're going to come on up and bring our hands to our heart and seal in our practice today together. Let's take a deep inhale and sigh. One more time. Namaste. Thank you everybody for coming today. Have a wonderful Wednesday, and I hope you feel stretched out. <laughs> Thanks, Marian. Thank you. Really good, Marian. Oh, really good. Good. I'm so glad. Yay. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.